So hi dear Pisces, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general um, 7 days 7 Oshos and Tarot messages for all the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind, yeah, this is a reading from 18 till the 24th of November. I'm going to pull one card for each day. You can take it as messages, guidance or warnings and or um, um, challenges or obstacles that you might face uh, in this particular week, okay? Now, if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start your self-healing journey but don't know from where to start and what to do, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass of Ho'oponopono. The link is in the description box for the same. It is the most powerful healing modality that I, I have ever used till this point. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start, Pisces. Eighteenth, we have the letting go. Okay, first card is of letting go, letting go and letting God and uh, surrender to the divine. Whatever is happening that you are not able to change or control or, you know, sometimes we have the tendency to try to change things and people and situations instead of trying to change ourselves. So letting go, art of letting go is the best thing that you can do for yourself in order to achieve things that are meant for you. Cool. 19th of November, exhaustion. You might end up doing so much, so much, like so many things at the same, either you are trying to do so many things at the same time and or you are going to do so much of work, so much of, you know, uh, you know, things at the same time and you are going to exhaust yourself to the limit of, I need a break. So take a break. <laughs> Relax, breathe and take a break. It's very, very important for you guys to do that. Otherwise, you're going to exhaust yourself to the level of um, maybe falling sick as well because this person is looking extremely sick here. And exhausted hmm. 20th we have the abundance abundance it's uh, about spiritual abundance prosperity happiness basically you are going to have the feeling of gratefulness and the feeling of abundance it's not lack mindset it's abundance mindset and the more you're going to have that feeling the more you're going to attract positive beautiful and good kind of energies towards you in the form of in the form of spiritual abundance as well and materialistic gains as well it's all about having a prosperous mindset healthy mindset you know, that's cool. Healthy energies. 21st, we have the success. So you are going to get success. Uh, either you are going to get uh, some kind of salary hike or, and or some kind of, we can say, promotion or something like that. Whatever is applicable in your case, you should definitely enjoy and celebrate to the fullest. Whatever you feel like you should do in that case. But at the same time, try to remain humble and grounded because this is not a permanent thing. Nothing on this planet Earth is permanent, no, not your success, nor your failure, nothing, right? But at the same time, remaining humble and grounded is very, very important for you guys in order to understand that uh, uh, everything is temporary. <laughs> this also. Hmm. 18, 19, 20, 21st, <coughs> 22nd past lives. So uh, you might uh, end up having some kind of problem that you faced in the past, in the past and you uh, keep on repeating the same cycle again and again and again. And you might be blaming the universe, your destiny, your fate. But this kind of problem is coming to your life again and again and again so that you can heal it properly and release it properly. Instead of, you know, uh, trying to, you know, uh, like curse your destiny or the universe or somebody or something, try to understand the lesson here and try to heal the situation properly and release it properly and say goodbye to it like properly. Okay. 23rd, we have the participation. If you are going to do something from your side, do it with your full concentration, full uh, with the full heart and soul kind of energy because your participation means a lot, you know, uh, on an energetic level, on a soulful level. No matter what other people are doing, if you are doing something in a... Um, like in a teamwork or something, even if some people, even if other energies are not that much interested or not doing anything about it, you give your full... Uh, potential you uh, like work with your full potential in this participation your participation is required thousand person because even if it is not going to work out in your favor right now this is going to help you a lot in the coming future hmm. 24th we have the miser you might have the tendency you're going to have this energy of this is mine that is mine this is mine and i'm not going to share my energies my things my my financial 
gain. So my things with anybody, the more you are going to be in the miserable energy, the more you are going to attract more misery towards you. Basically, the abundance mindset that you were having is going to convert into this miserable mindset because you are going to feel a lack of something in your life. And that's uh, completely fine. We all have the tendency to do that from time to time, but try to come back to the abundance mindset, grateful mindset as soon as possible, because otherwise you will <laughs> start attracting more miserable energies towards you that you're not going to like at all nobody likes that right anyways so thank you so much for tuning in uh, Pisces I'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care God bless you namaste